Imagine a world where anyone can create and use powerful artificial intelligence models for free. A world where you don't need to pay for expensive cloud services or rely on secretive companies to access the latest AI technology. A world where AI is open, accessible, and customizable for everyone. Sounds too good to be true, don't you think? Well, according to a leaked document from a Google engineer, this world is already here. And it's posing a serious threat to Google and OpenAI, the two giants of the AI industry. This document was leaked online by consulting firm Semi-Analysis after being shared on a public server on the Discord chat platform. Google has not commented on the document, which is not an official company memo, but it raises some important questions about the future of AI and who will control it. So stay tuned till the end of this video to find out more. For those of you who don't know, Google and OpenAI are two of the most influential players in the AI field. Google is the internet search leader that has been investing heavily in AI research and development for years. It has created some of the most popular AI products and services, such as Google Assistant, Google Photos, Google Translate, and TensorFlow. OpenAI is a startup founded by a group of tech luminaries such as Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, and Reid Hoffman. It aims to create Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, which is AI that can perform any task that a human can. It has also developed some of the most advanced AI models, such as ChatGPT, which can generate realistic text and conversations. Both Google and OpenAI have been competing fiercely for talent, resources, and recognition in the AI field. They have also been keeping their AI models and data under wraps, fearing that they might fall into the wrong hands or be used for malicious purposes. However, according to the leaked document from a Google engineer, this rivalry has blinded them from the real threat, the open source community. The open source community is a group of developers who share their work freely and openly with anyone who wants to use it. They believe that AI should be a public good that benefits everyone, not just a few corporations or governments. They have been creating and improving AI models that rival or surpass those of Google and OpenAI in terms of quality, speed, customization, and privacy. For example, they have used a large language model developed by Meta, formerly Facebook, called Adlame to create various tools for text generation, summarization, translation, and more. They have also created websites filled with open source visual art generation models that can produce stunning images based on user input. The Google engineer said that these open source models are already lapping us and that the barrier to entry for working on AI models has dropped from the total output of a major research organization to one person, an evening, and a beefy laptop. He also said that Google has no secret sauce and that our best hope is to learn from and collaborate with what others are doing outside Google. He warned that people would not pay for a restricted AI model when free, unrestricted alternatives are comparable in quality. Of course, not everyone agrees with this view. Some might argue that Google and OpenAI still have an edge over the open source community in terms of resources, expertise, reputation, and impact. They might also point out that open source AI models have their own drawbacks, such as lack of quality control, accountability, security, and ethics. They might also question whether open source AI models can scale up to handle complex real-world problems or achieve artificial general intelligence. However, the open source community is not standing still. It is constantly innovating and collaborating to overcome these challenges and create better AI models for everyone. It is also gaining support from various stakeholders who recognize the value and potential of open source AI. For example, the EU has been warned that it must protect grassroots AI research in its planned AI bill, or it may hamper the release of open source AI models in Europe. The UK's competition watchdog has launched a review of the AI market, emphasizing the need for open, competitive markets to sustain AI innovation. So, what does this all mean for the future of AI? Well, it means that we are witnessing a paradigm shift in how AI is created and used. 
It means that we are moving away from a centralized and closed model of AI development, where a few powerful entities control the technology and its applications, to a decentralized and open model, where anyone can contribute to and benefit from the technology and its applications. It means that we are entering a new era of democratized and distributed AI, where open source technology is leading the way. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more AI and technology videos. Also, let me know what you think about this topic in the comments below. Do you agree with the Google engineer that open source AI is beating Google and OpenAI? Or do you think that Google and OpenAI still have an advantage over the open source community? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.